Hello everyone, in this video I'll be explaining the encode and decode strings problem. This is a lead code problem and I will attach the link lint code below. So you can solve it on lint code. It's paid on lead code but it's free on lint code. So you can solve it there. Let's jump into the problem. Design an algorithm to encode a list of strings to a string. The encoded string is then sent over the network and is decoded back to the original list of strings. Please implement encode and decode function. So we will be given a input array with strings in it that is lint core love you and we have to make it into a single string something like this lint core love you. In this they have joined each word by using colon and semicolon and then the output in decode will be you uh, the input will be this string and the output will be each of the words again so input and output are same okay so now let's jump into the problem okay the issue with using colon and semicolon is if there is a semicolon and colon in any of these words then uh, it will get confused and it will consider it as the end of the string or the start of the next string. So for that we have a way to solve it. First we have our encode function. These are our four words lint, code, love and you. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to take the length of each word. So length is four of lint. Then add, add a hash next to it so that we know that this is the number we have added and the number is not already there in the string okay so for hash lint append the word to it we do the same thing for every single word in the array length of code is 4 then add, add a hash and then code append the word length of love is 4 add a hash and append the word length of u is 3 add a hash append the word ok so this will be our string the string that is sent over the network ok then we will be sending this string as input for decode function so in decode function what we will be doing is we write a for loop which will go through the entire string which is this string and every time we find a number followed by a hashtag then we stop there and we take the number of characters mentioned after the hash so we will get lint ok let me just uh, do a dry run so we have 4 hash lint so we find 4 and hash Okay, as soon as we find 4 and hash, we know that after hash we have to consider 4 letters. So, we consider 1, 2, 3, 4, lint. So, lint is our word. Then, we again find 4 and hash. After that, we consider 4 letters after hash. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, our next word is code we will just add it into an array ok then next number is 4 followed by a hash and 1 2 3 4 love so this will be considered same way for u so we find number 3 and hash so the next 3 letters will be y o u so that will be our next word ok this will be our final output now let's jump into the coding part. So now let's start writing our function. First we'll write our encode function. Input for this function will be array of strings. So let's call it strs. Okay. Now let's just declare a string. I'm going to call it s. It's an empty string. This string will have the output which is a string of all the encoded strings we have a for loop let string of strings 
this will go through every string present in the array okay so now what do we do for each string for each string we find the length and append a hash and the string to it right so s equals string dot length find the length of each string add a hash and also add the string itself okay so this will finally give us our output you just return the string s okay now let's start with the decode function so in this the input will be the string which we sent from encode function okay so in this what we do is we declare a decode array to have all our words in it we'll have a for loop which goes from i equals 0 to n dot length and for the entire string it will go through the entire string now inside this what we do is uh, we need to check if every single character is a number followed by a hash how do we know whether it's a character we check for the ascii value ascii value of 0 is 48 and ascii value of 9 is 57 so if it is between the ascii value 48 and 57 that means it is a number okay so for that in javascript we have a function which gives us the ascii value of a particular character which is char code at it will give you the ascii value of the ith character of this string str okay so this should be greater than equal to ascii value of 0 which is 48 and also it should be less than ascii value of 9 and also what we have to check is the next character should be a hash now since we want the next character we will just use i plus 1 okay this should be equal to hash if all these three conditions are satisfied we can read the next few characters of the length which is there in the number okay now we have to convert that character into a number value for that we have okay now we have to convert the character into a number value because we need to know how many letters we need to pick after the hash right so for that we have word size equals string dot char code at which is the ascii minus 48 if we do this it will just convert the character into a number okay now what we do is we need to take the substring from hash to the uh, length of the word decode dot push whatever uh, we are reading next should go into the array string dot substring i plus 2 i plus 2 because the first character is a number and the second is a hash so choose from the next character after hash to all the way up to i plus 2 plus the word size this is the end of the string which we need okay so this will add the next word into the decode array and after the entire string is read all the words will be in the decode array so finally we have to return decode so that's our decode function that's it for this video guys i hope you learned something new from this video if you like this video and want more content like this please give the video a like and please subscribe to the channel and that'll make me really really happy thank you for watching